so high level keeps getting better and better and i'm going to show you the eight new updates that are completely changing the game inside the software that you cannot miss so stay tuned and build along with us and we're going to show you exactly how to use these new updates and how to make it more of a powerful system for you to use so our goal is to show you some of these updates and on top of it, we want to make sure that we give you some ideas of how to leverage them. So the first one we're going to go over is something called the workflow split. Now, for instance, if you had a customer that you're trying to nurture and you wanted to try different emails or a different approach, maybe you're going to send an email and a text message, maybe another, you're just going to send a different type of email, but you kind of want to test and you don't want to give up what you're currently using now, but you want to start testing whether or not, you know, the new experience is going to be better and it's going to help you close more, or it's going to help you generate more leads or whatever the case is right so we're introducing the workflow split like i mentioned so here is a perfect example make believe i have an abandoned cart an abandoned cart is basically a sequence that will fire if somebody starts to purchase your product but never truly finishes so if you don't know an abandoned cart on how to build this you can go into one of our older videos and we have an abandoned cart sequence video in our course purchase it's one of the older videos you have i'm going to link it up here for you but go ahead and watch that if you just kind of want to know how to build that but going back to the update if i come in here and i have my flow and i want to start testing two different different emails, right? I want to do email one and email two. And I want to see out of both of those, which one is going to do better. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to my sequence in here, my workflow, and I'm going to go to the part where I want to start split test. So I'm going to come in here and going to hit the plus sign. And what I'm going to do in the search bar, I'm going to type in split. And this is going to take me to the action of the workflow split. I'm going to click on it. And you're going to see that it's got the split and it's got the random split and I can choose multiple different pads. And not only can I do one, two, three, four, I can add quite a few pads like pad C and I can make this like 25, 50, and maybe an additional 25 here to unevenly because path B is the one that's currently working for me now. And I want to try to test to see how the open rates are going to be in the other paths. So the second I hit this, you're going to now notice that the second the customer comes in here, the system will automatically split them based on the ratios that I gave them in order to give a really good outcome. Now, also, I don't know if you noticed this update, but now you have a stats view on the left hand side. And now you can see who's opened your emails, who's clicked and so forth. So when you're going back in and you're monitoring the workflow to see which one is producing better, not only do you have the ability of splitting now, you also have the ability of viewing stats. So for instance, I would come in here, I would copy my workflow, copy all actions from here, copy the workflow, copy all actions from here. And I would call this path B email, right? One B. And I would modify this email to do whatever it is that I want. And then when I can do that, I would come in here and I would over time check which ones are doing the best, meaning which one is getting the better open rate, which one is getting more click through rate. And then eventually I would come back to my split. I would come in here and then I would just decrease the percentage of the ones that are not working and increase the percentage of the one that is pretty awesome feature, very, very powerful in the marketing world. And it's literally going to open up so many different things we can do. This can go into AI. This can go into chat responses. I mean, honestly, this is an incredibly large update, very, very powerful update that you guys are definitely going to have a lot of fun with. Now, the other one that I was completely blown away with was payment links. So for instance, if I was kind of out about, and I just kind of wanted to create a quick little course or more importantly, a service. And I kind of just want to invoice out and I don't want to go through the trouble of creating an order form or more likely like even creating an invoice. I just literally want to get a link out so a customer can click on it and pay it. So now introducing payment links, how awesome is this? If I wanted to immediately create a link that I can just send to my customer through a text or through an email, I can come in here and hit create link. Now I can come over on the left-hand side come here, make believe I just want to sell them salsa lesson for the sake of this example, right? But I would come in here and I would require a customer address. I don't know if I want to collect the customer address, but I can if I like, you know, if I wanted to. And then from here, I just have the call to action to pay, but I can change to book, donate or whatever else, which also opens up for you to collect donations if you're doing any kind of funds, which is again, another powerful update. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do powered by teaching account. I'm going to put it into test mode just so we can see this live. This is going to be the salsa lessons link up here. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. How cool is this? Now watch, if I come back, I'm going to take this link. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to drop it in my browser just so everybody sees it. I have it right up here. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and hit enter. Now I come in here and now notice this is in test mode. So I'm going to put some random information here, Nuno test. All right. This is going to be a test email. I just want to show you the whole process in order for you to do that. So we'll do like, you know, a random number. All right. And then I'm going to do my test card for 24242. All right. And then any future date and come over here with the CSV and just put a random zip code in here. And I'm going to get to pay. Hopefully that I didn't think it was a valid number. Okay. Awesome. And the second I pay, it goes, thank you for your payment and you're done. Now, if you have an automation back in your 
your system here, right? If I go into automations and let's say I have a purchase automation, I can immediately deliver directions where they're going to go and everything else. So for instance, if it was just in Nuno's awesome course, we'll just say that it's the salsa membership. I come in here and if I have orders submitted and it's a global order, and now I can pick those salsa lessons, global product is salsa lessons. Boom, I now have an automation that I can add for that payment link purchase because it is a global product. How cool is that? You can create as many links as you want and you can go through the entire thing. And again, you can just have those links readily available for your staff, for yourself, as you're out on the road. Again, a super powerful update that's gonna make your life a little bit easier. The next update is quantities. Quantities are becoming a big deal because now it allows us to enhance our e-commerce solution that high level's providing. But not only that, imagine if you have an event, an event that maybe only has like 20 chairs available or 20 spots available and you want to make sure that it sells out when somebody tries to buy and you're let's say at ticket 21 what's really cool now is you can come into the payments area all right payments on the left hand side and you can go to your products and any of your existing products all right so let's make believe i'll just use the groundhog day shirt example here i only have like 10 of these shirts i now can come in here and if i do additional options actually not additional options track inventory right here i now get an available quantity and I can put eight of these, 50 of these, 10 of these, and so forth and so on. And not only can I do it to a physical product, I can also do it to a course product. So make believe you're running a course and for the first hundred people, they get a specific price and then it sells out and they have to click another link. I mean, just a really cool way to sell a course. You can come in here and you can go all the way down at the bottom, track inventory. You only have 50 of these available. And now until it sells out, when it sells out, boom, you now have the ability of doing this. Again, quantities are going to be a big deal, especially if you're going to do an e-commerce store. E-commerce store, you're sending a physical item and you want to make sure that you have limits on it, right? Like 10 planners or 15 tablecloths, like whatever it is that you're trying to sell. Now you have the ability of putting limits. So again, a super powerful update as you go through this. Now, the next one, which if you're using payment links and you're going to be using a lot of forms and calendars, and you notice that every time you do that and you send a link to the customer, you're using the raw and you're not putting it on a funnel, like the raw link, it's got all this weird kind of like link messenger and everything else. So let me show you what I mean by that. If I come in here and I go to calendars, right? And I have one of my fake calendars here, high level automatically provides a link. So if I come in here and I try to share this link, right? I'm going to copy it. This is the link that the customer will see. It's got link, you know, my CRM and everything else and all this craziness in here. So now what's really cool is if I come over here and I go to my business profile, we now have the ability of doing a branded domain. All you have to do is come in here and you create a C name record, very easy to do. So I'm gonna pause and I'm actually gonna go there for you. Now, granted, it's only working for a few links right here, but they are gonna keep put adding more and more links into it. So that means that over time, everything will have your domain versus somebody else, which again, in the sub account level for your customers will be a really good deal. And again, I just think it's a super cool feature, especially if we're using payment links now, calendar links, form links, and you just wanna have it branded to you. So you want to go ahead and highlight this link right here, control C and copy it, come over here to your records, hit add record, go to C name, whatever your domain is. And again, you would go to your GoDaddy, your Namecheap, your Cloudflare, wherever you have it. You would come in here and you would do a C name. It would be for your root domain. And you would do the example of this and you would take it completely out and now you're ready to rock and roll. You will have a branded domain for your links. How cool is that? You hit save and you're ready. So everything that will have a link that is available now. Now granted, some of the links will still have the old one until everything gets updated. But if you do this now, when it does get updated, your branded domain will be in all the links. Super cool update. Again, just one of those little things that is making the software more and more awesome every day. So the next update is kind of what I call a sleeper update. It's something that is happening in email that a lot of people don't know about. So if you go to marketing and inside of marketing you go to emails and let's just go to one of the campaigns high levels introducing dynamic elements into the game which means that you're going to have things that actually move inside or interact inside an actual email pretty big advancement and it's really cool they have two so far and there is plans on adding even more so for instance in this email how cool would it be if i all of a sudden came in here and i had an faq system for my course now i come in here and i would fill in my list item of like you know question number one what is this course about who does it fit into and everything else i would come in here like and answer questions and what will happen is in the email itself with them having to click on anything else 
it'll open up and be like an accordion, which in an email you can never do before. You would actually have to send it out and it would go to a link and then open up in a page. Now you'll have the ability to do this and then all you got to do is come in here and customize. So the FAQ is the number one. And now literally just the other day, they released the image slider. So if you are selling something and you have different images, you now can add different images with links that can go to individual products, that in merch, whatever you guys got going on, you can do it directly into this email and those links will fire out. Again, dynamic elements, brand new, the first of many to come, but how cool is this? You'll have the ability of doing sliders directly inside the email on top of FAQs that open up accordions. I think that's pretty cool. And the more and more they get, the more we're gonna have the ability to do this. But again, it's gonna put high level on that top range of really good, awesome things that we can do inside of email for marketing. And the next update for all you people that are still inside other softwares, high level is making it easier and easier for you to import things from other software. So I'm going to show you the really cool feature about importers, just in case you don't know. So I'm going to come back over here and let's say I want to write an email and I wrote a bunch of emails in active campaign or MailChimp. Don't know if you're aware or not, but if you come in here and you go ahead and you go to templates and you're like, well, I want to create a new template, but I want to grab it from the cool one I created in active campaign or MailChimp. I can come in here and if I do import email, I now have the ability of importing from Active Campaign or MailChimp. So what you would do is in Active Campaign, when you go to your template, there is an address on the bar itself. You would copy that address when you go to Active Campaign, right click, hit copy, and then basically you would put it in here. And what it will do, it will preview it and then it will go and grab the actual template, which is really, really cool. So again, it gives you the instructions how to do it for Active Campaign, and it gives you the instructions how to do it for MailChimp, making your job a little bit easier. But folks, that's not it. A lot of us here have courses on Kajabi, right? And you're like, downloading a course and uploading it is always going to be a pain in the butt no matter what you do, it, especially when you're transitioning systems. But if I made the job half easy where it's downloading all your materials, all the written stuff you've written in each of the sections and the section in the format, it would be pretty good. Now, what I mean by format is like what you've written down. Again, the style and the way you created it is not going to import over because that's styling, right? But if I can get the majority of the written words, the section breakouts and everything else in from Kajabi into here, here and cut my work in half, it is pretty cool. Now, if I go over to memberships, right? And I go to courses and I go to products and I go create product and I import now from Kajabi. It tells you exactly what you need to do. Use an email to create a learner profile within the Kajabi platform. Grant the learner access to the courses you plan to import. Enter the learner credentials in the Kajabi domain. So you would put the actual domain to grab Kajabi. You would put a password and then you would enter that Kajabi domain. Now it's going to download the entire course. And what's going to happen is it will download the course, but it won't download the video. So if you have videos, you still Still have to kind of download them and import them in here. But again, if I can get half of that stuff done, it's going to make the job incredibly easy for me to come on over. And the old but true classic, and it's still working, is for anybody that's coming over from ClickFunnels, you can come in here and you can import any funnel has you created. So if I type in new funnel and let's just go from blank, I hit create and I'm just gonna say, well, we could just actually go into existing one. So if I go to let's say this one right here and I wanna add a new step, I could just go grab my individual page from ClickFunnels, put it in here and it's gonna import over. Now, I can tell you from experience, ClickFunnels has a lot of code that is not preferable when you do move it over. But if you're like in a jam and you gotta cancel your ClickFunnels account, you no longer wanna pay for it and you wanna bring all your imports over or all your funnels over, this works incredibly well and only with 1.1 or 1.0 click funnels, not 2.0. But what you could do is you can import it over, have it all here, and then just over time, rebuild the funnels in here, which is always going to be a little bit better and faster for you. But again, making the job significantly easier when you got to import people or import things over. So hopefully this is going to make everybody that's still kind of hanging on to things and different softwares out there to come on over. So the next update is pretty cool. It has to do with all the AI that is happening inside a high level. Now, honestly, there is content AI. There there is conversational AI, there is workflow AI, there is a lot of AI that is going on inside of Hylum probably more so than a lot of other software. And that is making it even more and more powerful as we get through. The first one, as you know, is if you go into settings and you go to conversational AI, you have to make sure it's on inside of your high level account and your agency account. But if you come in here, you have a bot that can be trained to answer questions and that can be trained to book an actual appointment. Now it is very well versed. A lot of people are having a lot of success with this bot. There is a video that I did make earlier that will show you how to do this in this one alone. But the cool thing about this is it doesn't only stop there. 
If you go and you create, let's say you wanted to respond to a customer every time somebody has an inquiry, I can create a workflow from here directly from scratch and I can leverage one of two things. I can either leverage ChatGTP or the conversational AI to have conversations in here. So for instance, if somebody came in here and I never pay attention to my Facebook messenger or Instagram, if a customer replied, let's say in a particular channel or in a particular workflow, we're gonna say channel for now and make believe the chat widget per se, right? I could save in this and this response, I can go ahead and send it to ChatGTP. If I send it to ChatGTP, I could say something with respond to this customer and I could give it a whole bunch of parameters. And there's a bunch of videos out there how to do this right now. Respond to this customer, right? Something simple like that. And then I could give it a whole bunch of rules of what to do. And then literally from the contact, whatever the message was that came through right here, message body, all right? And I can hit save action and it's gonna give me a response and then I can in turn send that response out, right? So the reason why this is important is because you can have full-bledged conversations on here. And like, again, I'm not gonna go fully into this, but I need to understand that there is massive updates with this right now that you really need to pay attention to because this will make your life significantly easier. You can use this. There is also communication and you can actually pull in the bot, the conversational AI directly in here from the one you trained before. So again, if somebody has questions, you can ask them questions and go back and forth. There is massive amounts of things you can do in here. It's too deep to go into one video. Literally, this should probably take a whole nother video on there and we'll send some videos out there on this but again this is available and now an even wilder one before this is a game changer significantly this you pay incredible amount of money for and the fact that it's being consolidated in this tool is amazing on top of having all the ai they now have live chat so if i go over to my chat widget right which i believe is in sight chat widget if i come in here i now have the ability of changing this to a live chat well what do i mean if I have a bot or if I have a person that is actively going to answer and it's not going to have a canned response, I can immediately have that now on my website. So if you go to sites and you go to chat widget and you come all the way here and you go to the chat type, I now can make a live chat. This is a live chat. It's a real two-way conversation on a chat widget. It works well for large teams that have 24-7 coverage. So if I'm that large team, I can do that. But guess what? If you have AI, there are ways that you can use this live chat with your AI so you can have conversations with customers back and forth legitimately just using this live chat option. How cool is that? And again, there is no additional cost for activating this feature. Or if you're the individual that has a very large company and has this, you have now the ability of going back and forth with a live chat agent inside of here, just using a tool like this. How amazing is this? I could tell you that this is by far you pay telecom, you pay all these other additional fees. This is not only a money saver, but for small businesses that are building and you can figure out how to do this with AI, you now have a pretty significant arsenal at your disposal that you can use in order to leverage business. So I don't know about you, but these are incredible updates. These are game-changing updates for the software. I hope this kind of opened your eyes of all the different possibilities. There's going to be obviously more videos coming about how to leverage these in all future videos. We're going to be obviously toying with a lot of these things to make it more active. So again, I hope this video was helpful and I I hope you build along with us and try these out. If not, we'll see you on the next one.